connect it on your device. All right, looking for a unique color to brush up uh, uh, subtle aged pink on your walls. It's named Dead Shrimp Testicles, Dead Salmon, Barbie World, or Silly Pussy. Or Silly Pussy. All right, put your answers in. Put your answers in. There we go. See what everybody picked. Okay, is it Barbie World? That was Cat Pathfazer's life. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. No, that was Badoover's lie. Is it Dead Salmon? That was the truth. Crazy no, enough. On how well it pairs with our favorite paint colors, murdered eggplants, and barely breathing beige. Mirror campaigns. Ah, I oh, like politics. Christine O'Donnell lost her bid for the Senate in 2010 after hitching her campaign to an unusual slogan. I'm not a blank, I'm you. Answer your lies now. All right, where is the truth? Who picked what? <laughs> I'm not a human. Oh, that was Badoober's lie. Okay. Is it a witch? Okay, that was the truth. But does the truth weigh more than a duck? Does the truth weigh more than a duck? Does it weigh more than a duck? It's a witch. According to Monty Python. In a 2013 interview with The Hollywood Reporter, Benedict Cumberbatch let slip that he blank in South Africa. Okay, enter those lies. Come on now, let's get truthy. Uh, okay. Benedict Cumberbatch let slip that he cried in South Africa, licked the toes in South Africa, smoked weed, got kidnapped, or got adopted in South Africa. See how it shook out. Was it adopted? Oh, that was Captain Tapaz's fly. Good one. Alright, got kidnapped. That was the truth. Too bad he wasn't Liam Neeson. All right, here we go, and round two. Category. Okay, I'm gonna pick a category, and it is going to be Fab Four. All right. Try this one on for size. The song Yesterday by the Beatles was originally titled Blank. Submit your lies now. Okay, these are the choices. Okay, how do we do? Okay. Originally, originally titled Paul's song, uh, Paul's song, that was Badoover's Lie. It was called Dead of Night. Oh, Cinnabang's Lie. Okay. It was called Scrambled Eggs. What? Paul just needed the proper number of syllables to create the tune, <laughs> or maybe he was just hungry. I think they picked all, uh, almost every Ben Duber lie. <laughs> nice one. Eyes up here, people. The show's starting. stairs did it look like an accident in the world of this bizarre safety film all the troubles are secretly caused by blank write your lies now there 
There you go. Find the truth. Okay. All the troubles are secretly caused by those damn kids. Harold the dog really <laughs> should have a chihuahua. Harry Hazard, those meddling kids, an evil clock. All right, pick your answers. Do it quick. Let's take a look. Is it those meddling kids? Damn. All right, hello everyone and welcome to the stream. I'm a legend man and tonight, 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 we are back in Jackbox. Happy Sunday. It is our Sunday Jackbox party with the community, with all of you. And uh, tonight we get to have fun. Uh, with the chat, and um, you know, we get to play trivia. We we get to play. Uh, we do drawings. We do. It's just, um, yeah. So you drawing word games, fun, everything. Get a little bit raunchy. Uh, hopefully, we're all adults here. So um, yeah, uh, we get to be a little bit immature and just uh, laugh our heads off and uh, see who comes and joins in. See who uh, joins the party and. Um, yeah, so yeah, happy Sunday, Jackbox. Um, so yeah, that's on the docket for tonight. Next week, we're gonna do more FTL and then we're gonna do more Helldivers. And then uh, Friday, we're gonna do Final Fantasy Friday next week. This is all next week. And um, yeah, so um, Saturday, I will be at a convention. Um, I will be at Southwest Florida Space Con. And uh, if you see me uh, around, around the con, uh, please say hi. And, uh, yeah, let's talk and have some fun. So, yeah, I will be there, uh, probably, like, 10, 30 to, like, maybe 3 o'clock or so. So, yeah, it'll be a good time, and, uh, yeah, that'll be next week, June 8th. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's what the schedule is, that's what I'm doing. Um, but, yeah, alright, uh, as far as news goes, yeah, you know, like I said, the convention, uh, South Sort of Space Con, I'll be there. Uh, German American Social Club, ten thirty to probably three. Um, yeah, uh, we got games in the pipeline. Um, I added two. I, I added two games. Uh, I added Monster Hunter uh, Monster Hunter Wilds, and I added uh, a game called Jade Empire. And um, let's see. Yeah, what else? Um, so yeah, we got games in the pipeline. We still got our Boulder's Gate 3 uh, Twitch integration stream that we're going to do with my cousins. Uh, we got Skull and Bones. We got Jump Ship. Uh, we got Wildermyth. Um, Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. And um, yeah, uh, EA Skate. Um, what else do we have? Because uh, we have... Uh, let's see. Um, uh, we got Final Fantasy 7. Um, we got Battle Bit Remastered, Sea of Stars, uh, Octopath Traveler 2, uh, we got a game called Agent 64, and, yeah, a bunch of other stuff. Um, also, uh, I will be going to California, uh, in, like, probably in about two or three weeks, and then I'll be coming back July 5th or 6th, and then we'll continue streaming there, and I'll look for, I'll, I'll probably look for another job, so, yeah, but, uh, let's get into some Jackbox, let's play some Fibbage. Uh, let's see, that's Party Pack 9. Yeah, Party Pack 9. Okay, so we're going to hop in here, and then I'm going to create the room, and then everybody can join in. So, okay. Uh... Yeah, let me turn this up just a tad. And let me get the room set up, and we'll get going. Uh, yep. Okay. Alright. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everyone's doing well. And, uh, yeah. Alright, let's see. Here. Yeah, and here we go. All right, FFIT. That is the room code for tonight. Uh, so we're gonna start off playing Fibbage Four. So Rab, what's happening? What is happening? Welcome on in. Um. So, as per usual, we're going to wait for at least four people. 
Or if we get a whole group in at once, we'll, uh... We'll start with four people, and then we'll go from there. And... Rab, how are you doing? What's going on? How has your day been? A thumbs up. Yeah. How's your day been? Um, I went and did laundry and got dinner. That's basically what I did. And Maneuver's here, all right. Back to the video game. Badoobers here. Welcome on in, Badoobers. Uh, say hi in chat. Uh, glad you're here. Um, yeah, looking for a fourth person. Um, I don't know if my cousin's going to get on tonight, but um, I'm expecting at least at least five people or so. Five or six people. Um, I think it's been a while. Yes! Yes, Badoober, it has been a while. Uh, how you been? What have you been doing? Committee Furrow here. Hello. Uh, Worship Pixie. Uh, how you doing? And... Badonga Dong. <laughs> uh, Pixie, uh, please say hi in chat. And, uh... Uh... Badong. Uh... I want to play Sinbang. Get in here. Get in here. Hey. And, uh, but don't get, uh, please say hi in chat. Otherwise, we will, uh, we will start to kick people. If you don't say hi in chat, uh, I will, uh, I will remove you. Because I, I, I gotta know if you're genuine. Dung says hi too. Okay, is Badong with you? Okay, because, uh, I don't want, like, I don't want people to hijack the stream. Watching the same, oh, uh, same device. Okay. Alright, hey, we almost got a full house tonight. So, welcome in, welcome in. Uh, my name's The Legend Man. And, uh, Pixie, thank you for the, uh, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Um, this is our Sunday Jackbox night. Um, I do this every other Sunday. Um, as a thank you to the uh, to the Twitch community and my Twitch following, uh, my Twitch follow community. So, yeah, we get to have this is our this is our Sunday uh, our Sunday Jackbox where we just lay back, laugh our asses off, and have some fun. And yeah, so uh, I stream uh, every other day, um, and this we do this we do this Sunday Jackbox every other Sunday. So, um, all right, we got two people, uh, two spots open. So. Uh, two spots going once. Anybody else? Anybody else? And now, uh, how we do this is, uh, if, if you win this game, you get to pick the next Jackbox game that we play. I have Jackbox, uh, 4 through 10, and I also have a game called Rift Tracks. So again, welcome on in, welcome on in. Uh, let's have some fun. So, okay. Uh, two people going twice, or two spots going twice. Anybody? Anybody? Anybody else want to jump on in and have some fun? All right. All right. Hope everyone's doing well. Um... I didn't do much today. I just uh, did my laundry. Here is your room code. F -F -I -T. Oh, that, that was accident. Um, but yeah, I, I did my laundry and I had dinner, and that was pretty much it for my day. So I'm ready to let loose and scream and have fun. So, all right, two spots going three times a lady. Uh, all right. Uh, last call for alcohol. Before I set off. Okay. Anybody else? Give it another minute. Girls wanna jump on in. Gonna have some fun tonight. 
waiting on two people if they want to join in or we're just gonna go and go ahead and have a good night tonight so all right okay here we go Greetings, I am your human host, Cookie Masterson. There is no reason to question this. Observe my patterns of human speech. <coughs> Let me say at the outset, you're not all going to survive. Some of you will perish in a horrible way, but live or die, to me, you're all patriots. Oh, and don't forget you can still join the audience. Audience members earn points by guessing the truth and fooling the players with their lies. Let's do this. This is round one. You'll pick up 500 points for everybody you fool, and you'll net a cool thousand for finding the truth. All right, here we go. All right, All right time for me to category. pick a category. I did reset the modem, so it should be a little less lag. So, uh, let's go with deceptive tech. All right, question one. Here is a strange one. Taiwan News reported on a man who had to give up his PS5 after he lied to his wife and told her it was blank. Now, enter a bluff on your device that sounds real enough to trick your fellow players. If you just can't come up with anything, use the Lie For Me button to get a suggestion for half the points. Uh, do it now. Okay, I did put on extended timer, so you should have plenty of time. Okay. So... Taiwan News reported on a man who had to give up his PS5 after he lied to his wife and told her it was blank. Okay, waiting on one person. That one person drop out. No, oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Okay, those are the choices. Guess the truth on your device now. Okay. Told her it was a mini fridge, a robot cleaner, Lucky, uh, a time machine, a PS4, a Roomba, or an air purifier. Uh. I'm gonna say that. Uh... Okay. All right. Pick your answers. Okay. How do we do? Was it a time machine? Oh, that was Sin Bang's lie. All right. Good job, Sin. Is an air purifier. Dun -da -da! Air purifier. She realized he was lying after he spent eight hours purifying the air in his room, but it didn't purify the room. It was a gaming c console, and I am Cookie Masterson. <laughs> Such a weird, weird voice dub. <laughs> Me and Rap both said Roomba. Both minds think alike. Show me a category. All right, Cinebang, you're up. Pick a category. I'm cooking. How about this? I'm a normal human, but I don't understand your customs. King Louis XVIII had a nickname that seemed more like an insult than a title. He was known as Louis the Blank. Submit your lies now. Okay. Uh. 
Okay, so, all right. King Louis the 18th had a nickname that seemed more like an insult than a title. He was, uh, he was known as Lou, uh, Louis the Blank. Yeah. All right, waiting on two people. Waiting on one person. Time's running out. Better hurry up. Time's counting down. Get it in, get it in, get it in. Okay. Spot the truth. Okay. King Louis the Lavish, King Louis the Just, King Louis the Three Fingered, King Louis the Little. King Louis the Unavoidable, King Louis the Bastard, or King Louis the Small? Pick your answer now. Take a look. Okay, is it King Louie the Little? No, that was Badoober's lie. Is it King Louie the Bastard? No, that was my lie, baby. Is it King Louie the Lavish? No, that was Arab's lie. Good job, Rab. Is it King Louie the Unavoidable? Oh. He gained the nickname when he regained the throne after exile. Some people will never return, though. I'm Cookie now. <laughs> okay. All right, Rev is in the lead. Time to see what's in the news. Try this one. I love normal human gossip like this. Shocking headline from Gawker. Kim Kardashian is coming for what blank has. All right, type in your lies. Okay, shocking headline from Gawker. Kim Kardashian is coming uh, for what blank has. Okay. This tune sounds like Fernando from, uh, um, uh, from ABBA. Fernando. Okay, here we go. Okay, here you go. Alright, Kim Kardashian is coming for what Taylor Swift has, uh, Rihanna has, Chris has, Diddy has, Abraham Lincoln has, Kanye has, or OJ has. I know everyone's going to say that, but... It's either, it's, it's either Taylor Swift, Kanye, or Diddy. Come on, show me what you picked. Is it Taylor Swift? Oh, Sinbang, that, you got me there. Good job, Sinbang. Is it Rihanna? Oh, good job, Rab. Is it OJ? <laughs> Is it Abraham Lincoln? K. 
Kim is pursuing her law degree using the same path as Abraham Lincoln. I am pursuing nothing. Let me out of here! I already have what I want. Okay, this is weird. Alright, Rab taking a commanding lead. On to round two, where all point values are doubled. Time to pick a category. All right, Maduber, pick that category. <laughs> I'm the real Cookie Master said. <laughs> no, please allow me. Give this one a shot. This is weird. Here is a liar from the past because no one is lying now. Gregor McGregor was an early con man whose most famous scam involved defrauding people using a fake blank. Write your lies now. Okay, Gregor McGregor was an early con man whose most famous scam was involved in defrauding people using a fake blank. What is it? What do we think it is? Alright, pick the truth. Is it uh, using a fake accent? Using a fake radio station? Using a fake vacuum? Using a fake country? Using a fake gold nugget? An insurance policy or a fake dog. Okay, what do we think it is? See what everybody picked. Okay, let's see. Radio station. No, that was Rab's lie. I used to work for a radio station, by the way. Is it an accent? No, that was. Oh, Sinbang got us good. Is it a country? You fake a country. Used fake documents, including a fake travel guide to oh. sell land in Poye, a South American country that doesn't exist. Just like that banging, it doesn't exist. Let your guard down. Invest in best pipe. I'm Cookie. Nope, no, you're not. <laughs> Oh, Sinbang! We never got around to writing this next one, so I'm bringing it back up. Wow! All right, Sinbang with attention. huge I'm lead. Only playing this once. Hi, I'm Tom from Chicago, and uh, I'm probably. Pretty well known in certain circles because for over That's two cookie. decades I've been blank. Enter your lies now. Oh, that's definitely Cookie Masterson. I'm sorry to ruin it, but that's definitely Cookie Masterson. You can tell by his voice. <laughs> I 
I didn't expect Cookie Masterson to look like that. Okay, which one's true? Okay, is it collecting vintage table, uh, crumbers, uh, chocolate chip, uh, the voice, alleged man, Master Chief, paying people's ta uh, tabs, or a voice actor for Jackbox? Okay, what everybody pick? All right, is it a voice actor for Jackbox? Oh, <laughs> Pixie, you got us good. Is it chocolate chip? Pixie played us good. Is it the voice? Should have picked this. Collecting vintage table crummers. They're classic items used to clear crumbs from tables. And uh, collecting them is a nice hobby to have, especially if you're stuck in a closet or something. It is Cookie Master said. Look at the look at the right of the box. Alright, Cinnabang, still heavy in the lead from the last two rounds. Alright. Pixie, pick a category. Here we go. <laughs> All is normal. All is normal. Ah, here's a good one. I'm Cookie and I'm back forever. Let's play more footage. In 2016, roboticist Alexander Rebin designed a tabletop machine that had only one function, to blank. Okay, enter those lies. Okay. All right. In 2016, roboticist Alexander Rebin designed a tabletop machine that only had one function: to blank. the truth all right uh one function to, to open pickle jars to break down to build legos to play dungeons and dragons hold the cup turn on itself or hurt people uh uh let's say that one Okay. Here we go. Let's see how it shook out. Was it to hold a cup? Oh, that was Pixie's lie. Is it open pickle jars? Oh. By the way, I'm allergic to pickles. Is it to hurt people? machine delivered a prick to a human finger to help people confront fear of technology. But a pinprick is not enough because somebody has opened my cookies closet door. I must teach fear. Okay, here we go. Alright, rap. Oh! It's a tie! It's a friggin' tie. It's final fibbage time. Pay attention, because this one's a two-parter, and it's worth triple points. Good luck. This 
this is unfair. Researchers from UC Berkeley noted that an AI vision system misidentified 20 bugs and a leaf as blank. And this is not a threat. The CPSC reported that between 1978 and 1995, at least 37 people were killed by blank. Now you're gonna write one lie that sounds like it might fit in either of these two blanks. That's double the chance to fool your fellow players. And if it's believable enough to get picked for both blanks, I'll send a bonus your way. Got all that? I'll give you a little extra time on this one, so don't freak out. Okay. Uh, and I hope nobody Googled the answers. That would be cheating. It wouldn't be fun. Okay, so, first one. The CPSC reported that between 1978 and 1995, at least 37 people were killed by blank. And the other one, researchers from UC Berkeley noted that an AI version uh, vision system misidentified 20 bugs and up. leaf as blank. All right, hopefully we got some good lies. Wait, no, one more person. Come on, come on, almost time. Time to run out. And done. Okay, here's what you're working <laughs> with. These questions have two different truths. So, for now, just pay attention to this one. Guess the truth for just this question now. Okay, 37 people were killed by midgets? <laughs> Viruses? Bubblegum spelled wrong, uh, vending machines, shipwrecks, icicles, cicadas, or glitter. Okay, picked my answer. All right, pick your answer, pick it quick. Pick it quick, baby. Time to deal with this one. Find the truth for just this question now. Okay. Moment of truth. Is it icicles? Ah, oh, Pixie's lie. Double deception. Double deception. Good job, Pixie. Is it glitter? Ah, oh, Sinbang's lie. Another double deception. Good thinking. job. Getting points like nobody's business. Is it viruses? All right, Rab's lie. Nobody picked this. Is it vending machines? Not all machines are that dangerous and stupid. Like, I can clearly identify the person pulling out my plugs as the real Daisy. <laughs> Daisy. Give me your answer, do. Well, I'm the real. Real Cookie Masterson saying to check your new recording software for malware uh, and robotic arms. 
Okay. That was awkward. All right, Sinbang. Sinbang, you win. The worst pixie got the most likes. All right. Hope everyone had fun. Binge pipe. Still hungers. All right. So, Sinbang, you won this game. What game would you like to play next? I will open it up to you. What game would you like to play next? We can do any any pack four through ten. Up to you. You don't know Jack? Okay, yeah, we can do that. Uh, let's see, that was... The last You Don't Know Jack pack was... That was... Uh, was... I think that was five? Yeah, okay. Okay, that was five. Okay, we will do that. All right, let me get the room started and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get it going. Okay. You haven't, played, you haven't played regular Jackbox Binge in so long? Loves our yeah. Users so much. We gave About the same for me, game. too. Okay. Yeah, I, I can never get this more done than properly, a streaming so. Surface, and it's also uh, less than a streaming service. Because we're not a streaming service. <laughs> or are we? Yes, we aren't. All right. Yeah, here we go. All right. T Q E M. That is the room code. I had a great time on our date tonight. You want to come inside and watch something? I know what that means. I've got binge pipe. The only streaming service better than casual sex. The very same. All right. Here's a look at just some of the quality programming binge pipe has to offer. He's a cop that doesn't play by the rules. She's also a cop that doesn't play by the rules. You know, they might not be cops. Um, All we right, here we got three spots. Uh, Rev, you still with us? Apologize. You know, for making so many murders. Sorry about that. Our Would anyone else like to join us? We got three spots. Bears versus. Standardized math testing. Okay, and pencils down. It's actually pretty boring. Bears versus. I've just fallen down the stairs, but I feel great. Okay, we got three spots. Three spots going twice. Anybody? 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 Anybody else want to jump on in and have some Before fun? Before we begin this trivia game, now would be a good time to practice the phrase, Ah, oh, man, I knew that. Okay. Oh, all right. Good luck, everyone. Yes, good luck to everybody. Uh, I'm not very good at this. And, uh, yeah. All right. Um, three spots going three times, a lady. Tickles and trough troughs. They are equivalent treats. If you asked me to choose, I'd say, oh, that's a muse, because they are precisely equal to me. Okay. Sorry, what was the question? I'm and Kyle. on that note, and I'm Julie. let's get we're started. We're best friends. And siblings. Or maybe we're dating. It's super. Binge Pipe is proud to resurrect from the dead. You don't know, Jack. Binge Pipe. If you want privacy, subscribe to a bookshelf. <laughs> subscribe to a bookshelf. 
Hey, That's Cookie good here. Stuff. I'm gonna ask you some questions and, heck, I don't know, maybe fall in love? Since we've got a group, I'll let you take a second and decide who gets eaten first in the event this game gets lost in the woods. And I see we've got some gawkers in the audience, which means I'll be adding an audience bonus to every question. The better the audience does on a question, the less bonus money goes to the players. But if the audience really whiffs it, that right answer is going to be worth major moolah. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we are. First question. Singles night at the watering hole. Picture it. A suitor with an impressive neck beard decides to go full alpha and approach the fastest mammal at the bar. He tips his fedora and says, Milady, Malayan, Malama, or Maleopard Seal. Uh. Okay. So who got it? Alpaca it in and go yeah. home. Lions have been clocked running no. 50 miles per hour in short sprints. All right. Sorry, animals. It's closing time. You don't have to go home, but you can't graze here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Uh, I, I, I was going to say lion. Oh, here's a good one. Goo goo ga ga. <laughs> if a pregnant woman wants to make sure foul language isn't the first thing her baby hears, which of the following movie nights should she skip? Oh, watching Seven at Seven Weeks, watching Twelve Monkeys at Twelve Weeks, watching 25th Hour at 25 Weeks, or watching The 40-Year-Old Virgin at 40 Weeks? Uh, I'd say... I'd say that. Okay, what'd you pick? It's not you. It's your answer. Around week 25 and 26 of pregnancy, babies start to hear sounds from outside the womb. Oh. It's also the best time to introduce your baby to actor Barry Pepper, so tough decision. <laughs> okay. Why do we do it with green? Try this on for size. Just one more, and I hope you're not driving because it's a dis or dat. I'm gonna read not all very seven good at this. things, and for each one, I want you to tell me if it's a drink that contains scotch or a movie that contains Sean Connery. <laughs> Fast, you'll only get a few seconds to pick between a scotch cocktail or Sean Connery. And you're all doing this together, so look alive. Ready? Good. Rob Roy. Uh, that's a drink. I know it's a drink. It's also a movie. Yeah! The Godfather. The Rock. Ball. Rising Sun. No, poopy. Blood and Sand. Uh. Four Horsemen. Ah, poopy. Not a lot of rock stars, but uh, decent rhythm section. But you all, you just plain sucked at that dis or dat. Binge Pipe has detected a suboptimal player experience. Looks like it's screw time. That's right, Cookie. Screwing during a question makes life a little tougher for all the other players in a variety of enjoyable ways. And you'll receive a bonus for each player who chooses incorrectly. Mm-hmm. I couldn't have said it better myself, apparently. Connecting with consumers makes me feel like I could be alive.
It's time for Heavy is the head that wears the toy crown. Oh God. Who was a real boss baby? King Tutankhamun, Joan of Arc, Alexander the Great. Oh, look out. <laughs> Player one just let loose a screw. No, don't worry, gray is very distinguished. Let's see how that shook out. Tut tut. Ah! Mary became Queen of Scotland when she was only six days old. Whoa. That's one of those facts you tell 10 day olds to make them feel old. That screw is a good move, player one. Enjoy your cash. Woohoo! <laughs> Here's one Thumb for counts you. covering the code. Doc T uh, T Q E M. Your sexy, sexy doctor can clearly see how thirsty you are. What's the most likely diagnosis? Horniness and diabetes. Horny. Well, what do you know? T Q E M. Uh, player three used that screw. Yeah. Hey, is this question? Sorry about that. Wait. But yes, you can join the audience. Picked what? Constant unquenchable thirst is one of the major symptoms of diabetes. Official diagnosis, diabetes AF. Nicely done with that screw player three. Here's your extra cash. Say goodbye to round one. Show me that scoreboard. These players are currently tied for the lead. Okay. Player four, on the other hand. Wow, you are really doing it. Poorly. Looks like someone needs a little more help. Round two screws have crazier effects. Plus, they earn you a bigger bonus for each player that gets the question wrong. So don't be shy about using that thing. The rest of you better answer quick or you'll end up screwed. No, yeah. oh, and uh, remember, questions are worth twice as much in round two. You can take that to the bank. <laughs> Coming up next, tag your it. Because they look alike, what might Facebook ask classic literary character Tom Canty when he posts a selfie? Do you want to tag Oliver Twist? Do you want to tag Huckleberry Finn? Do you want to tag King Arthur? Brace yourself. Player four has screwed you all. This one goes out to my lawyer. I love you, Kurt. Oh, you have to read the whole thing. And okay. how'd we do? <laughs> Tom Canty swaps places with his lookalike Prince Edward in The Prince and the Pauper. Yeah! It's with me and Brad Pitt. Super annoying. That screw is a good move, player four. Here's that cash. Question Game seven, here we now go. Now offers content surveys. Would you like an attractive question or a question with a great sense of humor? Contribute your percentage of the choice now. Here are the consequences of your choices. You have engaged with the process. Okay. Je trouve Jerry Lewis sonnant légèrement amusant. Set. Here's one I like to call an attractive question. Going by their magnetism, which of these actors is the most attractive? Jeremy Irons, Goldie Hawn, Sarah Silverman, or Bradley Copper? Uh, ooh. Ooh. Uh. Gonna go with that. Okay, let's take a look. Oh! 
Damn! Iron is a ferromagnetic metal, which means, much like Jeremy Irons, it is very attractive. Twas then I learned to heed the winds of air. And now, Solo Cup, a Star Wars beverage. <laughs> if mysterious bounty hunter Boba Fett was secretly made up of Boba tea, what would be part of his anatomy? Caramel balls, tapioca balls, ginger balls, or ice balls? Uh. Ah. Yeah. What'd you guys pick? You might be thinking of Ron Howard. Boba tea comes yeah. with little tasty tapioca balls. And once again, when a question lets you say the word balls a lot, you <laughs> grab that opportunity by the tapioca. <laughs> Good one. This one's called Content Brings Us Together. Oh, okay, I know what this is. Binge Pipe recommends. Because you hate women emerging from water, you might be able to tolerate When Harry Met Sally, Dr. No, Fast Times at Ridgemont High, or Something's Gotta Give. Uh... I love this part. Sally no! doesn't don a swimsuit or visit a beach it was a or D. in the movie when Harry met Sally, so it's all clear. Oh. Also, if you hate emerging from water in general, may we recommend sinking. Here we have okay. the fault in our star charts. Oh, I'm geez. a staunch believer in science, which is why I only get tarot card readings from physics professors. Which of these psychic predictions does not include one of the four fundamental forces of physics? Beware the gravity of new responsibilities. Challenges are going to heat up this year. You'll have weak interactions with loved ones, or you'll have strong interactions with angry wolves. So, ah. what'd you pick? If you ever replay this question, don't pick that one. Why don't I save you all the embarrassment? Electromagnetism is the fourth fundamental force of the universe, not heat. My magic eight ball is saying the future is infinite. Oh wait, no, I'm just looking at the eight sideways. Round three, here we go. Oh no, it's round it's three! time for the attack. When you see an answer that matches the category, tap it on your device. The faster you pick a right answer, the more cash you make. And more than one answer can be right. But each time you're wrong, I'm taking some cash away. And don't forget... <laughs> it's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Zoo talking to me? I hope you can find the correct talking animals. Good luck. Yeah, okay. Dolphin tail.
Okay. Yep. Final scores, okay. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Not me. Player two takes it. All right, Cinebank wins again. Nicely done, player two. You won the game. Put on your party pants and celebrate. Unless you're already wearing them. A little presumptuous, but hey, do what you want. You don't know Jack. I certainly did not know Jack that time. So, okay, Cinebank, you win again. Uh, we can do any party pack, 4 through 10, or we can do, uh, Rift Tracks. You guys pick a game. Okay, uh, who... Streaming now on what game would you, would you guys punch. like to play? We can do, lion punch. A uh, revelation. Master hang on, hang on. Okay. A uh, okay. What games would you guys like to play? We can, we can do Jackbox 4 through 10, or we can do a game called Rift Tracks. Up to you guys. Um, Pixie, Badoober, what would you guys like? Would you. you world, champ uh, world champion Googler. Oh, somebody cheated. Not cool. Okay. Um, I say. I say we all do, uh, Monster Seeking Monster, uh, okay, we got one for Monster Seeking Monster, we got one for Rift Tracks, um, I kind of want to do Rift Tracks. So, yeah. I think we should do riff tracks. So give me a minute. We'll uh, we'll we'll boot up riff tracks. And uh, so if uh, anybody wants to do riff tracks, uh, you go to rifttracks.games. And it's the same. It's the same thing as Jackbox. I'll show you. Uh, you go to this website. Uh, log in with your Twitch account. And uh yeah. So let's do uh let let me set up uh Rift Tracks. And Rift Tracks is basically Jackbox, but you, you miss uh you, you do uh you do five five rounds of movie clips. And it's hilarious. If you haven't done it yet, and this is your first time doing it, please join in. It is so funny. Let me get I'm gonna get the room set up. And everybody joins in. You get, we're going to have maximum of six people. And we're going to have people in the audience. The game. Okay. Gameplay settings. Okay. Okay. Writer riff. That is okay. We'll get. We'll definitely give you a minute. And don't worry. I'll extend the Ready timers. Everything. Everything Here will be good. We go. Okay. Here we go. Uh, I'm gonna turn off sub counter, and I'm gonna turn off that. Okay. So, PRJX, join at rifttracks.games, and there you go. And if you want to join, if you, 
uh, if you want to do your Twitch login, you, you click the little settings button on the website. Okay, we got Cinnabang. We got me and Cinnabang so far. Uh, need at least four people. Okay. Excellent. Okay, we got four people. Uh, we got two spots. Uh, where's Baduber? Is Baduber gonna join us? You you requested this. You, I hope you join in. Now, what's gonna happen is a movie clip is gonna play. It's gonna have missing audio. And you, uh, it's a text-to-speech game, so you, you make up your, you make up your own, um, you make up your own line track. You write, you write in, your, you write in the, you write in the missing dialogue, and then we play it back, and see how funny it is. Okay, but he was trying to remember to switch login. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, so, a movie clip's gonna play. Okay. Movie clip is going to play, and it's going to have missing audio, and you make up your own missing audio, and then we play it back with that audio that you input. We do it for five rounds, it's going to be five movie clips, and it's hilarious. Remember, it's text-to-speech. It, it, it uses Google's text-to-speech, so spelling, um, spelling may affect the game or uh, the text, the text of robot speech, but it's so funny. for Badoober, and then we'll get started. Uh, we are raunchy within reason. Uh, don't be sexist, don't be racist, and, um, you know, don't draw anything that is inappropriate when we, when we do drawing games. But we're raunchy within reason. We kind of keep it, you know, adultish, but not, like, overboard. You know, like it, so like, yeah, don't, don't be racist, don't be sexist. Um, you know, that sort of thing. Um, and you can be gross if you want to, but just, you know, don't, don't push the line. That's all I ask. And also, you know, according to the scene, it, like, if, if you do something dirty, uh, if the scene is leaning towards dirty, go for the dirty, because it, may, it may, be, may make it even funnier. Or more funny, I should say. Alright, come on, Maduber. We're waiting on you, buddy. So, but yeah, uh, raunchy within reason. Still working on it. Okay. All right. Thank you for the update. Appreciate it. And it's going to reconnect me. Hang on. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Sometimes, uh, the game, the game will disconnect the host for a second. I don't know why it does that. I, 
I wish they patched I wish they patched this game, but doesn't look like it. But this is a heck of a fun game to play. It works just like Jackbox, but it's movie clips. Don't worry, I extended the timers. So you have plenty of time to vote uh, or to write down your riff. And you can also add sound effects to your rift. Right? There's the add sound effects button. And, however, you can't vote for your own, uh, you can't vote for your own choice. You have to vote for everybody else's, everybody else's choice. So the clip's gonna play, the, the clip is gonna play twice. And then you input your own dialogue, and then you, you have 120 seconds, and then you have 60 seconds to choose your favorite riff from that, uh, from, from the choices the other players made. You can't vote for your own. Spectre! Alright, Spectre, please say hi uh, in chat so we know you're real. And if you don't, I may kick you. I can do that. We're waiting on one more person, we're waiting on Badoober. Now, like I said, you can be raunchy within reason, but uh, if, if you uh, if you go over the if you go over that little line, if you're racist or you're sexist, I'm gonna kick you. Or if you're totally gross out for no reason, I will kick you. Just putting that out there. Those, them's the rules. I want everybody to ha have a, a a good fun time. And if you like what you see, give us a follow. He's almost there. Okay. Alright. Spectre, if you don't if you don't say hi, um I'm gonna kick you. Captain Neckfat. Okay. Captain Neckfat, if you're in chat, uh, that's Badoober. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Captain Neckfat. Okay. All right, Spectre. Uh, I am gonna kick you. Um. Okay. All right. Hey, there he is. Okay, just want to make sure you're not a bot or you're not a big troll. Okay. All right. Well, now, like I said, we want to have a good, clean game. You can be raunchy within reason, but don't be sexist or don't be racist. That's all I ask. If you if if you if you do any of that stuff, I will kick you. Just just saying. And just wanted to make sure no, you know, not everybody's you know. Want to make sure you're not you're not a robot. You know, like the little um, authentication thing. So yeah. All right, here we go. And we'll explain the rules if you haven't played Hello, yet. Hello, aspiring riffers. In each round of writer riff mode, a movie clip will play. Every clip has a spot to write your own joke or riff, as we call it. If you're stuck, you can choose a randomly assigned riff from one of our own professional comedy professionals at a slight point deduction. Everyone's riffs are played back and you vote for your favorite. At the end of all the rounds, the player with the most points wins. Round one. You are not like my people. You are savage barbarians, non-Roman, animals. You are not like my people. You are savage barbarians, non-Roman, animals. It's go time, Mama Jama. Enter your rips now.
Once everybody gets their uh, great on spec ray. Right. Don't worry, and I give everybody plenty of time to get their answers in. But you don't have to write a novel. You are not like my people. You are savage barbarians, non roman Animals. Pit this monkey in a cage. <laughs> you are not like my people. You are savage barbarians, non Roman animals. Here are Valorant players on their six games lose streak. They dropped two ranks tonight. <laughs> you are not like my people. You are savage barbarians, non Roman. Animals. I am Walt Disney. This is Bob. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm Walt Disney. This is Bob. As in Bob Iger. Like my people. You are savage barbarians. Non-Roman. Animals. Hey Dave, get a load of this Donkey Kong looking moron with the septic tank on his head. <laughs> you are not like my people. You are savage barbarians. Non-Roman. Animals. Well, if you just walk 15 feet to my left, you can go fuck yourself. <laughs> you are not like my people. You are savage barbarians, non Roman animals. Yes, we are savage barbarians playing riff tracks. The riffs are in. Time to. Okay. Uh, pick your favorite riff that's not your own. Come on. Okay. <laughs> well, would you check out the riffing skills on this guy? Sid Beck, that was good. <laughs> Round two. That was good. <laughs> you left. Feed this much once a day. This much. Feed this much once a day. Time to bring the funny. <laughs> Enter your riff now. I got my answer in. Waiting on, uh, waiting on Badoober or Captain Neckfat. <laughs> oh, that first one was good. What? Fifteen feet to left. <laughs> that was good. I love that. 
Right, 15 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. There we go. This much. Feed this much once a day. All right, Timmy. Remember, this is not reefer. Do not fucking smoke it. <laughs> this much. Feed this much once a day. Watch me roll a dab with this much. This much. Feed this much once a day. I'm stopping. Baba boy. <laughs> this much. Feed this much once a day. If you don't want to be eaten by FNAF animatronic, of course. <laughs> this much. Feed this much once a day. Listen, lady, I am young. I don't need your husband's boner concoction. Now bend over. <laughs> this much, feed this much once a day. If you give it to her at breakfast, she won't remember to pick you up from school. <laughs> your vote, fellow <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> the bend over one, that was funny. That was good. <laughs> All right. Change some numbers. Cinebank's still in the lead. Round three. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Hey, this movie. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. You've seen the clip? Now enter your riff. Good old George Bailey. That's a wonderful life. Everyone plays it every year at Christmas. All the networks do. <laughs> Give me Stuart. Yep. Good old George Bailey. Trying to save his dad's saving, uh, buildings and savings loan. Excuse me. Alright, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Don't have to write a novel, but you just have to submit something funny. Time's almost up. There we go. You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Yeah, in my opinion, as a 30-year-old teenager. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. But it is you talking, stupid MF. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. What's down there ain't pretty. <laughs> oh, that's you awful. Know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. 
I have a dick under this dress, dude. <laughs> you know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Well, for saying such a nice thing, I will let you smell it. Oh! You know, if it wasn't me talking, I'd say you were the prettiest girl in town. Why? You got an erection. Got your favorite? Vote now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these were all good. Oh, these were all good. E e even the even the even the auto wrists were good. Oh, Badoover, that was good. That was good. Ah, oh, Badoover took the lead. Round four. We need you to kidnap the president. We need you to kidnap the president. Are you the next top riffer? Enter your riff. I sense a lot of Joe Biden and Trump jokes will be had here. But no matter what, it'll be fucking funny. <laughs> right, 40 seconds. Here we go. We need you to kidnap the president. Listen, Eddie Van Halen. Just go write a song called Hot for Teacher and Fuck Off. <laughs> Good one. We need you to kidnap the president. Joe Biden? Hell yeah, I will do it. Just got to stay away from those NES bad dudes. <laughs> Are you bad dude to kidnap the president? We need you to kidnap the, the rescue president. president. Deal for a meal from Kerger Bank. <laughs> you mean Burger King? We need you to kidnap the president of the hair club for men. Yeah, it's not a good plan. <laughs> we need you to kidnap the president. No need. The real president is already convicted. How do you change the voices? We need you to kidnap the president. Which one? Michael Jordan. Here we go again. Time to vote. Uh. <laughs> 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 yeah, I gotta pick that one. Oh, uh, nobody picked mine. Grinty Furrow here, hello. Uh. Simply stunning. Work. OB Cool Guy, thank you for the uh, follow, I appreciate it. <laughs> Deal for, for a meal from Burger King. Okay, Rippers. 
<laughs> oh god. Yeah, cool guy, thank you for the follow. It's that time again. Enter your riff now. All right, 35 seconds. 35 seconds. Oh, I sense this, this, this is gonna be good. This is the final round. This is gonna be good. All right, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three. Oh, got it in. Sexual gaze, if this fiat fits, your dick will too. <laughs> good one. Oh, it's good. This is a horse shit clip. <laughs> uh, it's, that's what it's supposed to be. I wish this was how they serve pizza roll samples at the grocery store. <laughs> you barely even hit some too. My fist smells good because I fisted your mom last night. <laughs> Look at my defense move, Ma. I'm getting fisted. He doesn't even hit him. Dude, that reminded me of my dad for a minute. Got a favorite riff? Vote now. All right. <laughs> I like the jazz clip. That was good. But dog, that was good. That was so good. And the winner is. Right, who won? Who won? All right, Cinnabang. All right, you win. All right, let, let's let's see what the credits say. I want to read the credits.
Winner was Cinnabang. <laughs> Jack Frost, the snowman, was Captain Netfeck. The burly lieutenant was B Badong. <laughs> Louis the guard was uh, Pixie. Shark Tornado was me. And Spectre was the uh, star man. <laughs> all right, all right. Cinnabang. What game would you like to play next? Uh, we can do any game, and this next game will be our last game. You guys decide. You guys want to do another game of Rift Tracks? Do you want to do TKO? Do you want to do, um, Fixie Text? Um, what would you guys like to do? We can do Quiplash. Okay, Quiplash, okay. Alright, we'll do Quiplash. We'll go back to Jackbox and do a, do a Quiplash. Let me, uh, let me get it set up, and we'll get going. Alright, yeah, Quiplash, okay. Alright, let me get it set up, and we'll get going. And this this is gonna be the last game for tonight. Alright, let me get everything good. Thank you for streaming. No problem! No problem! Like I said, I, I stream, uh, you know, almost every day. Uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and every other Sunday. So, yeah, it's not a problem. Okay, here we are. SRZP. So, yep, we're back in Jackbox. Alright, Maneuver's back! Alright. So, I need at least one more. Okay. Uh, we got four spots. Badong, you gonna get in here? Uh, cool guy, you wanna get in here? And Spectre. You guys are still here? Uh, you're more than welcome to join in. And let me get my... Yeah. Go! Bring that back. Okay. The dong's back in here. Okay. Spectre! Uh, cool guy. You guys are still watching. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
and, you know, help keep me alive. I appreciate it. All right. Last call for alcohol. Three spots going three times later. So yes, if you would like to subscribe, you get a free, uh, or a, if you if you subscribe, you get a bunny emote and a subscriber sandwich. So, all right, we got one person in the audience. Oh yes. All right. Last call. Alcohol. Three times later. Anybody? Anybody else? Anybody else? Alright. Alright. Here we go. Welcome to Quiplash 3! Subscribe! Son of the Quip! <laughs> I'm Train Incoming! My name is Schmitty, and I'll be taking real good care <laughs> of you. Here. Hello. Extra players can put in that room code and vote in the audience. I'm Duber. Thank you. I appreciate it's that. prequel to round two, round one. All right, Badoober, thank prompts you for the sub. your device in any way you want, and then each of your responses will square off against someone else's. The remaining players vote on their favorite. Easy, right? Oh yes, points. You score points based on the percentage of voters and who like your answers. Clear enough? Sure hope so. Let's go. Go Blue 2825. Thank you for the follow. I do appreciate that. And uh Michigan fan. All right, I'm fr I'm fr I'm a Michigan man myself. I do appreciate that and yeah. Good stuff. Okay. Time's running out. Safety quip it if you have to. Alright. We almost got a hype train. 62%. Alright, Badoober, get get it in. Get it in. Oh, wah, wah. Let's make some noise. Prompt number one is a rejected slogan for milk. <laughs> Okay, time to choose. All right, a rejected slogan for milk. Porn star milk is best milk or bull's milk? <laughs> and next is Something you shouldn't say in a crowded elevator. Here's the fun part. Pick your favorite quip. <laughs> uh, something uh, you shouldn't say in a crowded elevator. Have you known that taking showers isn't needed? Or when I pull it out, <laughs> it will get dark in here. <laughs> uh... I'm gonna go with that one. You know, I'm probably wrong. Yep. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. And now, 62% almost have a, almost have a hype title train. You would not be surprised to see on The Bachelor. 
Decisions, decisions. Choose your favorite. All right, a contestant's job tell you would not be surprised to see on The Bachelor. Uh, trained fluffer or jizz mopper? Uh, if you're a Kevin Smith fan, you know what the one on the right is. Next up, you can tell the wine tasting is cheap when the Chardonnay has notes of blank. Okay, choose your favorite. You can tell the wine tasting is cheap when the Chardonnay has notes of random scribbles or piss. Oh god, here we go. Um... Let's see how they handle. <laughs> Along with tall, grande, and venti, Starbucks should add a new coffee size. Blank. Oh no, we missed the train. Wah, wah, now wah, it's time wah, to go for your wah. favorite. Along with the tall, <laughs> Along with tall, grande, venti, Starbucks should add a new size coffee uh, called vaginal or <laughs> the fucking big one. Uh. I'm gonna go with, yeah. The effing big one. <laughs> Super quick flash. Wah, wah. That was round one. Reminder that those all go on your permanent record. Let's see the scores. <laughs> Alright. It's it's the night of Sinbang. It's ser I seriously hope you it's... Off the nerves because it gets real in Stop round two. Stop being in the, the lead. Are no, just demanding, kidding. So I've doubled the points. Everyone's saying this, this game's rigged. No. It isn't. Trust me. It isn't. Hey, go blue, how you doing? And by the way, go blue, go Michigan. How you doing tonight, go blue? You're almost out of time. Don't forget your safety. Welcome clips. on in the chat. Uh, welcome on into the stream. Five, four, come on, Pixie. Three, two, one. Ah, oh, I didn't quite. Get there. Okay, I'm not responsible for what happens next. Leading off, the name of a mermaid's stand up comedy Netflix special. All right, vote. All right, the name of a mermaid's stand up comedy Netflix special. Sleeping with the fishes, literally, <laughs> or I don't know, I'm stressed. Next one up, 
What usually stops boomerangs from returning? Time to pick the one you like best. Uh, what usually stops boomerangs from returning? Uh, your mom, or your mo, I should say. <laughs> Spelled ma wrong. Uh, or a good boy catches it in the park. I'm gonna go with the one on the right. Next on the docket, oddly enough, the winning project of the World Science Fair is blank. <laughs> All right, people, it's voting time. Oddly enough, the winning project of the World Science Fair is <laughs> election fraud replicator or the steel cylinder butt plug 9000. <laughs> That's right, folks. It's the Steel Cylinder Butt Plug 9000. Comes with all these features. Ah, <laughs> uh, that... The butt plug... Uh, all right, check this 9, out. 9000 butt plug joke. That's an ongoing case joke on my stream. This player fever, it can only be cured by blank. <laughs> Pixie fever. <laughs> you can only be and cured now, by... pick your favorite. If you have a case, if you get a case of pixie fever, uh, it can only be cured by IP gallons of tea <laughs> or COVID-19. I'm gonna go with that one, because, uh, dude, I, I, I had COVID, like, when I had a job. Like, the last time I had a job, it was not fun. So Let's good. see the next one. The least helpful tip in Sun Tzu's The Art of War. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> now it gets real. Pick your favorite. The least helpful tip in Sun Tzu's Art of War. Close eyes, you no see enemy, enemy no see you. <laughs> uh... Well, one of the greatest tips in The Art of War is, uh... In the midst of chaos, there is opportunity. <laughs> War hard, play hard. Oh, that was a safety quip? Okay. That actually made sense, somewhat. Okay, only one round remains. Let's see how it's shaping up to this point. Alright, who's in lead? Oh, Badong! Step right up to Riplash. The end you've been quipping towards. I'll be sending each of you a prompt right. that needs three separate responses. Pretty cool, huh? And due to the fact that we have an odd number of players, Hello. you'll go up against me. Yes, me. Okay, check your devices now. They got my answers in. Just a few seconds left. All right, 10, nine, eight. Come on, get your answers in. Five, four, three, 
two, one. Wah, 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 wah. Okay, it's time. Three warnings they need to put on the side of beer cans. Okay, everybody, pick your favorite quip. All right, three warnings they need to uh, put on the side of beer cans. Just water, something that tastes great. May cause headaches, may cause inflated self-worth, may cause rumbling conversations. Uh, that's true on the right. That is definitely true. <laughs> we all voted for the AI. Oh my gosh, we are so stupid. The three things on the Almighty's to-do list today. <laughs> All right, uh, choose the three things on God's to-do list today. Lose a competitive game, uh, get an anxiety attack, eat, eat and Kurger. Uh, or eat bacon, eat more bacon, have a beer. Fifty-fifty split. The three worst jobs in hell. <laughs> All right, vote for the one you like best. Okay, the three worst jobs in hell: front desk receptionist, lava pool boy, the anal dispenser, or the lifeguard at the swim Olymp uh, the swimming Olympics, or India food taster. Uh, I would go the one on the left. Because I was actually a front desk receptionist at a tax office. That was my last job. It was hell. Because so many people did not how to did not know how to do their taxes. Give me those. It's a common final thing in America. Scores. All right, let's see who wins. Oh, oh, I win. Ha 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 ha! Ha ha ha! I win! Ha ha ha! Alright! Okay, yes, yes, yes. Clap, 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 clap. Alright. Cute, uh, cute crown. Yes! Alright. Um, do you guys want to continue or do you guys want to call it? I, I think I should call it here. Um, I've had a pretty good night tonight. Uh, my usual crowd didn't show up. Um, only Rab did, but, um, Maduber, um, Cinebank, thank you for joining us. Uh, thank you for the subs. Uh, thank you, Go Blue. Thank you, Pixie, for the follow. I appreciate it. Uh, uh, Cool Guy, thank you for the follow as well. Um, we almost had a hype train tonight. And, um, yeah, so I will upload this to YouTube. Uh, I have a Discord, I have a YouTube, I have a Twitter account. Um, you know, please follow those. And, um, yeah, it's it's all in my Nightbot here. Um, if you'd like to hit the Discord. Uh, have a wonderful night, all. Yep, uh, everyone take care. And uh, tomorrow I will be doing a game called FTL. Uh, I, I'm, I'm on uh, 8 o'clock at night, uh, 8 o'clock Eastern. And yeah, if you'd like to check out the uh, check out the stream, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and every other Sunday we do more Jackbox. So, not not next Sunday, but the Sunday afterwards we'll do more Jackbox and Rip Tracks. So, yeah, uh, everyone have a good night. Uh, stick with me. We're gonna raid somebody. Uh, give me a minute here, and we're gonna raid somebody. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Who can we raid? Who can we raid indeed? Uh, uh, you know who needs a good raid? Uh, alright. My buddy Chorby needs a raid. Uh, 
though. I don't know what he's playing. <laughs> oh, he's playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Heck yeah. Let's do that. Uh, yeah. Buddy Chorby's raiding, uh, uh, doing Final Fantasy VII Remake, so everyone go say hi to him, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow for FTL. So have a good night, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye.